I'm Margaret in Windsor, and I'm not going to put documents up or anything. I've got enough on YouTube. I have two accounts, and Facebook and Google+, Plus. if anybody cares to view it. But I was kidnapped uh, from Buckingham Palace in 41 at age 2 and brought to Moulton, Alabama. And I've put the twins' birth dates and the mark through, which is illegal from the state of Alabama and all this. But my father, Edward VIII, was married to Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, Windsor, 35 to 36. Oh, well, I mean, he stayed married to it. It was 35 to 36 when he was forced to abdicate, not because of Wallace Simpson. That was a lie. Um, it was a plot to take down my father, first of all, and they did, and then they kidnapped me, his only daughter. And... Uh, in 37, they had Wallace Simpson, the American spy, marry the lookalike, the double, uh, that claimed to be the Duke and Duchess of Windsor illegal title. So dig him up. He was buried in 72. He's not my father. Anyway, they kidnapped me and brought me to Alabama. Here's what I want to put up here, though. The David Rockefeller, the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bilderbergers, oh, uh, Joe Kennedy was ambassador appointed by another Jew, Roosevelt. JFK helped in my, he flew in there before and after my kidnapping to the embassy. He helped in my kidnapping. My own Uncle George, the illegal six, and uh, Winston Churchill. Okay, I don't know who else. Uh, but here is what I wanted to put up now. I've put so much up about who kidnapped me and all this. I want to ask a question because I put this up too. Obama made a trip not long ago, and it may have been little illegal George, William and Kate's son. Uh, his birthday, I'm not sure. Anyway, it was on TV. You can still see uh, a little bit of it. Uh, they show it. Where he showed up for... Uh, little George's birthday, I think. But anyway, whatever the occasion, he stayed in uh, Windsor Castle a couple of nights, he and the family, or at least he and his wife, I think the family. He brought uh, little George a rocking horse. What I wanted to say here is that now then, with all I've put up over the years and telling all about who kidnapped me and all the, well, there's uh, other stuff, mind control murders uh, I wrote about which gets involved in all this. Uh, and I put it up, and it's hard to go back and uh, give too much background because you lose what you're going to say anyway, and the tape's not that long. So I'll just cut to the chase and say this. Uh, about a month ago, maybe a month and a half, Obama uh, met with uh, Mark Zuckerman, Facebook founder. And about fake news. Now that I've had, I don't know whose fault it is, but I've had all kinds of uh, problems with my phone, which I should not have. It's basically new from August. Um, I've put in a new card. I've done everything. I've deleted some to make room for storage when there should be. So it shouldn't be happening. Now, I have just found out, and I want to ask this question, because I believe her, because I, I, this uh, this post, uh, I believe it totally. It just fills in a blank or a link to for me. Is Mark Zuckerman the grandson of David Rockefeller? For God's sake, Rockefeller controls your media. Here I am and a lot of people going up on YouTube, well, on Facebook. That's what uh, Mark Zuckerman uh, owns. Go there to put our messages up in hopes that they're heard that this is a free media. Now somebody's going to tell me, and it's true, I bet it's true, if Mark Zuckerman is the grandson or any way related to David Rockefeller, we can all hang it up, okay? I'm not going to go back into background and everything I've put up. Uh, there was I, I did want to say this on this tape, too. Uh, I'm in bad health right now, so I, I and I don't have a studio to broadcast from, or I've lived a bad life here. Uh, I have sons, Mark and Scott, somewhere. Now that I'm so afraid, I put 
I hope I haven't put anything up on Facebook that's helped to hurt my sons wherever they are. People won't listen to this mess all they you know they don't. Oh uh, well I'm trying to think now I lost I mentioned my kids and I can't talk. <laughs> And now this woman says she has a picture of my mom, and she's taunting me with it. And she readily puts up my father's picture. She's done books on him. Um, anyway, I, I uh, wanted to get something else. This is not another area. In my former uh, YouTubes and Facebook, I've said that my kidnapping in 41, it was after then that the Rockefellers, Rothschild, the Illuminati Freemasons that kidnapped me, uh, um, Rockefellers, uh, Bilderbergers, well, they control the banking also. But here's where I'm going with this, I think. Uh, it's been pretty bad. <laughs> I've been teased with my mom's picture. Uh, Anyway, um, I recently, a few days ago, put up uh, on Facebook and perhaps YouTube, I, I'm not sure, but it was the icon of uh, NOW, National Organization of Women. I was putting it up for a different reason. I was telling back when I was doing the mind, book on mind control murders, Larry Flint was shot. I use him because everybody knows that of Hustler Magazine. And Mr. Flint was shot and his attorney killed in Lawrenceville, Georgia. And I lived in Marietta, Georgia at the time and was doing the book. My husband actually went. There were so many laws. And, the, uh, and then he's, I understand, worked for the CIA. I don't know. But anyway, uh, he went. To, and I know he did because I called and I got letters, a few letters back then, back and forth. And I put all my stuff, including the book, and, uh, um, oh, oh, God, certificate in there. And everything's gone. It was taken. Uh, well, it was a long time ago anyway, but it was illegal all this has been. Anyway, he went to NOW to try to get help for me. And I will say this, Betty Friedman, I believe is her name. I don't know if she's Jewish or not. But you've got Jews that are so up there in this whole thing, like uh, Steinem, a Ms. Magazine. Um, but anyway, let me finish this. My husband went there several times. I wrote, they refused to help me. Ralph Nader had a group with Dr. Wolf. Uh, he refused to help. I got the door slammed in my face, and when Larry Flint flew me out to his home in Bel Air, October, he did it twice, and helped me in the campaign, he gave me the number of uh, Gloria Steinem. She's Jewish, Ms. Magazine, that was part of this big protest all over the world against Donald Trump. Okay, how do you get something like that organized? But Gloria Steinem, when I called her in 83, she hung up on me. She wouldn't even talk to me. I was trying to tell her, you think something as important as raping uh, a child psychiatrist, raping children and his patients would get your attention, okay? Now, she hung up on me. Uh, now, you know who did try to do, uh, I called uh, my husband had gone there in Chicago because Playboy uh, magazine executive office was there then. It was moving about this time in 78. So uh, my husband went up there. Then I got a letter. I, uh, I know I did. And I had this in the safety deposit box and all of it has gone, taken illegally. Anyway, I had a letter from Kretschner, Arthur Kretschmer, and he was on the inside cover as an executive with uh, Playboy magazine. he I did talk to him also, and he told me that he turned the information over to, um, I'm trying to, over to the Playboy attorneys, the staff there, and they were going to try to help me. Well, I, I didn't get any more response from them. 
so much was happening, threats. Uh, uh, you can't believe it against me and my children, everything, and me trying to do the book and get it published. It's unpublished, by the way. They almost killed me April Fool Day of 80. And I had a letter from the FBI June the 23rd, 79, ongoing investigation, national security involved. Now then, I moved from Moonraker May the 8th of 79, and I got the letter from the FBI right after then in June. But I moved up there. It was a few blocks up from Moonraker on Bentley Drive, Laurelwood Apartments. Come find out it was really managed by the FBI. And the woman told me it managed it. She said that her... Uh, now, the FBI, as far as I know, were... Uh, okay, I probably wouldn't be alive. I know I wouldn't if it wasn't for the British. Uh, but I, the FBI, there were, there were good ones there. And... Anyway, this manager told me that her uncle was an FBI agent, and he had been in charge of the Patty Hearst kidnapping, and that was mind control used in that. Well, Hearst, the Castle Hearst, the news uh, media Hearst that controlled everything, too, with the Rockefellers, they're all part of the same group, the Illuminati, Freemasons. Um Anyway, uh, he was part of my kidnapping, and they were the Hearst. But her uncle was FBI agent and in charge of the Patty Hearst investigation. So I'm going to leave it at that. You get the gist of it. Uh, now then, what I, I think <laughs> where I'm going here this morning, because it's been really bad, not just the weather around here, just bad what's going on uh, and happening to me. Anyway, uh, back to uh, Playboy Press, or, well, Playboy Magazine. Uh, that was right after I lived at Moonraker. It wasn't over a year, probably a few months uh, had passed since talking to Kretschmer. On, I believe it's July the 12th of 79. I know it was 79 that the Playboy staff, part of their executives, were on a plane out of Chicago. They were moving their offices to L.A., just like Hustler Magazine did. But the plane went down. It was a passenger plane. It crashed right out after takeoff. And uh, I know that uh, some of his staff, Playboy staff, was um, died in that crash. I don't want to go any further other than I want to say this also. I want to ask this question after finding out, and I totally think that Zuckerman may be the grandson of Rockefeller. Uh, the National Organization of Women, you should see their logo, you can Google it, but they were the ones that denied me any help too. And what really gets me is they were part of this mass they helped arrange, I'm pretty sure, uh, this mass protest and march against all over the world. Yet they couldn't help me. They couldn't do a thing to help me. 